Good evening, everyone. My name is Paul Young. I'm going to walk you through the Liberals' action plan that they've been discussing recently, part of the DeVos economic forum, as well as what's been recently said in the House. So I'm going to walk you through what R&D is. I'll walk you through what's being spent, just some listing of companies, as well as existing government programs. I'll talk about the infrastructure as well. I'll talk about tax competitiveness, and I'll talk about capital spending. Basically, what R&D really is in a nutshell, it's companies taking money, redeploying it in his business, either through product development or innovation to move their business forward. It's part of a product life cycle. So that when you look at BlackBerry or you look at your TVs, those TVs have innovation into them to the next generation. So that's what you need to bear in mind. What you're seeing here is a rating in terms of where Canada rates itself in terms of G, uh, spending R&D on per percentage of GDP. Canada is basically ranked in the top nine in the world, and that's pretty good. Like there's other countries that do a bit better of it, like Asia, um, and you're seeing South Korea, you're seeing Japan, and there are even the United States. But as a percentage of GDP, we're still pretty good in terms of what we're spending. That's something to bear in mind. Now what you're seeing here is the top companies here, but what you're going to notice here with a flavor here, a lot of these are technology companies, which makes a lot of sense. A lot of these are also oil companies, because as you go through the oil sands, they're using different technology to extract that oil out of the ground to make it more efficient to kind of use less water and just more technology. Yet, Justin Trudeau never talks about the innovations in the oil sands. Now, let's talk about government programs. STTC, which is Sustainable Development Technology Corporation, was created by Ralph Goodale. It's been around for over a decade or so. It was to help provide seed funding for new technology and climate change. There's other funds as well, like the next generation of fuels, which is basically looking at biodiesel, different things in terms of green technology. And then on top of that, Stephen Harper's created some funds like automotive, food processing, forestry, all have certain type of funds that help provide seed funding as part of the modernization and look at different angles in terms of product development. This is again just giving you some examples in terms of government programs, in terms of what Stephen Harper has done versus advanced manufacturing to kind of support the next generation jobs. These are things in areas that Justin Trudeau never mentions because why? Because they're existing programs and B, it's also a legacy that Stephen Harper has in play to help businesses. Now, let's talk about infrastructure, because this is another area that gets a lot of attention. There already is money set aside through the gas tax and the Bill Canada Fund. There's a commitment. Justin Trudeau is looking to spend additional money. Now, the money that being spent is a drop in the bucket in terms of the overall process in terms of infrastructure. And the other thing that you have to bear in mind with infrastructure is it needs to be targeted. Okay, It can't just be one area. It also has to support expansion of exports. But you've never heard Justin Trudeau talk about the expansion of exports. All he basically does is throw money at infrastructure. Well, throwing money at a problem doesn't fix it unless you go to the root cause. Tax competitiveness. You would seldom hear Justin Trudeau talk about that, but Canada's got very competitive tax rates and that's a lot to do with Stephen Harper. Now what you won't hear Justin Trudeau talk about, he'll talk about all his meetings with all these executives. But what he doesn't tell you what happened in those meetings. Now, that being said, we can't get into provincial jurisdiction here, and I won't get into that, but what you need to understand is certain policies the federal government has little power over based on constitutional, and that's hydro rates. That's any sort of payroll taxes that prevent provinces bring in. Let's talk about capital investment. This is critical. Now, the oil stands leads a bulk of what you're seeing in terms of the capital expect expenditures because that's because it's very capital intensive. You need to bear in mind that. But we've seen up to 2014 about $112 billion worth of capital X. Now, you're going to see a bit of a clawback in the oil sands just due to low commodity prices. But that means other areas should be picking up the slack. Now, the problem is, is there, and I've discussed this in previous videos, is we have a capacity issue. We don't have people lining up the doors to invest in Ontario and manufacturing because of the competitive nature of the, the cost here. Uh, Kathleen Wynne's pushed business out through higher taxes, either to impose new taxes like carbon taxes or ORPP or just hydro rates. This kind of gives you an idea of the outflow of foreign direct investment. Now, let's talk about policies, just in general. 
Justin Trudeau talks about Canada's known for his resourcefulness. That's true. But what he doesn't talk about, that policies will drive how people, entrepreneurs, invest their money. If you're going to reduce the stock option deduction, that's going to impact startups. Most of those startups are in high tech, clean energy, or different areas because part of their compensation is stock options. The other area he doesn't talk about is access to capital. It's very easy to say, you know what, I'm going to throw money at R&D, but there's also the banking sector and everybody else has to be part of that solution. He never mentions that. He also doesn't mention new taxations coming in, which will also influence entrepreneur type of investments. It's nice to talk about Canada being resourceful. We are a very determined country, but it starts and ends a lot of cases with what we have to offer here as a country. And we are a resource-based economy here. So we need to be able to use that revenue from there to expand in other areas to diversify. The resources should be leading in terms of the focus of this government. But that won't be the message you get from Justin Trudeau. Thank you.